Hello, Mark McCray here. I'm gonna do a quick little video on doing a cylinder inset on a cylinder. It's something that a lot of people seem to struggle with with topology. So we're gonna go through it quickly here. I'm gonna create a cylinder with 36. I should do that before I make major changes to it. Let's just start fresh here. Not a cube. Wow. Okay. So let's do this. 36. We're good. Delete history. And then I want to create an, another one that's going to be inset from this. And we're just going to pull it out so we can see it. And we're going to change this one to be 16 and that will match up nicely with what I'm doing here so that my edge loops will match quite nicely. I'm going to turn on wireframe overlay so that I can view this nicely and I'm going to just push this size so that those first two sets of vertices line up nicely. So you got, we see, you can see, we've got those really close. This is a bit off, and then we're pretty good everywhere else. But that's the main one I want to be. I want th these three on top and bottom, I want to be pretty close to each other. And then I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to go to Mesh Boolean, and I'm going to have it hole punch for me. So we can see it punched a hole right into my mesh. So I'm going to delete history and transform it and freeze transformations and so we've got this and then I want to just quickly do a little bit of cleanup just to make sure that we're we're good um, these should be close enough that this isn't gonna hurt merging these won't hurt our cylinder um, now the next part is the most crucial part I want this to come off and I'm basically, the way I'm thinking about it is that I want it coming off the normal of this vertice. So if we think about this, if I was to do an offset of this, that's about the angle that it would offset at, right? So we're going to grab that, get about the same offset. So it's right about that 89, I think looks good. Same thing here. Nope. Oh. Uh, having troubles lining stuff up. I think it's because I'm uh, feeling ill. Okay, so let's get this right there. And we're looking pretty good. So now the next important part is we're going to hand cut an offset here okay we're gonna insert some edges and actually I'm gonna change that because I want this to be exactly accurate so first we're gonna grab this I'm going to snap it to that vertice, and then I'm going to hit the uh, bevel tool. Now I have my bevel set to chamfer, so I get a little bit cleaner lines. And I'm going to put that right about that this would be a nice angle for me, right? And we're going to go from here to here. So I can do that easier by just doing this, right? And then I can just grab, hit G, keep, and there we got those set, and then we can continue going around, creating this uh, loop, we're just eyeballing it to be close. OK. 
Okay. And then from there, we can go into our edge mode and we can get rid of these edges. And we've got a nice clean look here. Now I also want to grab, I want a nice loop here. So to do that, we're just going to go into this view. We're just going to slice through like that. And pull this down to be nice and close. Pull this one up nice and close. And then from here, so I'm actually going to pull this down a bit more because I'm going to add in one more loop in the middle here. So I'm going to middle mouse click. And we're going to connect these. So I, I should be able to just do this with the uh, connect vertices or connect component. So we'll do that. And there we go. I think that's some nice support loops there. And then from here, I'm just going to pull out. We're going to scale that to have that nice and flat. And before we go any further, we're going to delete history and freeze transformations. And then this should be nice. Now, just to make sure that we've got clean geometry, I'm going to hit three and we can see we didn't quite get that vertice cleaned up. So we're going to go merge vertices and we're going to go to point one just to make sure we get nice and clean here. Let's try that again. And there that cleaned it up for us. So going into smoothing can just help you see where things are bad. When you're doing booleans like this, it's very important to be able to double check that. Um, and I'm just going to grab this edge and this edge. And we're just going to get some supports on it to make it keep it nice and sharp. I think that feels good. And then we're going to oh, grab this. We're going to bridge it. And then we're going to grab that face, shift right click to poke the face and then we're just gonna put some support loops on that as well uh, I think we want 0 0.05 there um, that's a bit too small 0 0.08 that feels better feels more in line with what we have on the other end and toss that one in there and if we hit three we can see we should have a nice clean geometry, no pinching. Everything looks nice and smooth. And that is because we're following the edge flow of our cylinder as, as much as we possibly can. Um, the, the, this is coming up through. All these supporting loops are keeping the cylinder shape for both shapes. If you don't have that proper support, then you're going to end up with, with pinching for sure. Um, hopefully this helps a few people. We could probably add a loop there and we'll just scale it in. And then you could, you know, take this further and further wherever you want it to go to, but, uh, yeah, hopefully Hopefully that helps people out so you can see that, that proper system of support for your object. Have a great day. Thank you very much.